this is another great example of a place that you cannot get a bass boat. This is the kind of place that you can only get to if you have a kayak. There's no launch for a boat here. Um, there's definitely not enough depth for a boat. It's a, it's a shallow body of water. And this place is, it's almost out of a picture book of what you would expect to find if you want to have a peaceful day in a kayak. So upstate New York has a lot of these areas to offer. And for kayakers, this is kind of a haven for hidden waters and for beautiful scenery. So this is the hard part about fishing a new body of water. I've never been out here. Um, I have no one out here with me, so I don't have anyone showing me where the spots are. I'm kind of just kind of, I'm just breaking down the lake. So right now I'm throwing finesse and hitting the drop-offs. If I don't find any fish on the drop-offs, I'm, I'm starting to mark them on my finder right around the drop-offs. Um, if they're not hitting the drop-offs, I'll start throwing uh, a jerk bait. I'll start throwing a chatter bait. I'll start working my way down the column. Until I can locate the fish. That's how I break down a body of water. Or I do the really smart thing and I find someone local and have them show me the lake. That's the easiest way to break down a body of water. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy, but it starts off the day and uh, gets the start of catching fish. So I can't complain about that. There we go. There's a new mess. Mass number two. Look again, he came unhooked in my net. This is why I can't say it enough. I use a net because I see a fish unhook themselves in my net all the time. If I wasn't using a net, I would have lost this little guy right here. I think it's the number six or seven right here. Six or seven New York bass. I knew today was gonna be a good day of fishing. I knew it.
New York bass number five. That's a little bit fat over one, too. Good looking fish. We're gonna keep on working this rock pile because I think we're in a school. So, if you're wondering what upstate New York has to offer, this is it. A lot of amazing fisheries. Completely worth the trip. This has been a great day in the water. It's been a great day. Alright, so let's get one more fish, then we're gonna head in. And I'm gonna head downtown and check out some local breweries. Um, I've been told there's a massive like 96 foot waterfall downtown. And I wanna go see that. So uh, let's get one more fish on the board. Which almost was right there. And then we'll head downtown, check out a brewery, check out some cool restaurants. And uh, we'll see what downtown Rochester has. This is the cast of the full of the fish. Okay, so we're off the water. Uh, we had an amazing time today. It was beautiful weather. Uh, it got a little bit windy towards the end there, but it helped cool it down and helped uh, keep me moving on the water so I could troll on the bottom a little bit easier. Uh, I have to say, it was one of the most beautiful days of fishing on the water. Had 15 or 16 bass, had a great uh, sunfish, had a small mouth, a lot of large mouth. Sun's out, it's, it's just been a beautiful, absolutely beautiful day. The wildlife, the vegetation, the scenery, the whole atmosphere that I felt in the water out here, it, it just doesn't feel like what I would expect from New York. And the fact that this is upstate New York and they have fisheries like this all over the place to offer, I highly suggest bring your kayak, bring your kids, bring your family, come out and check some of the beautiful scenery out in Rochester. And it's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful out here. I'm gonna go downtown and do some filming and it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. The gear that I use, the products that I have in my kayak, make it so I am able to find places like this and effectively fish and navigate all these areas. If you have any questions about the gear that I use or the products that I use in this video or any of my other videos, please look in the description below and click the links to the brands and the products that I have in my kayak to get more information or comment below on the video and let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help you guys out and answer your questions. So we're at the Genesee Brewery in downtown Rochester, New York. The rooftop has picturesque views of downtown Rochester, including a 96 foot waterfall that runs right through the middle of downtown. The food was amazing. They have a really cool gift shop behind me with a lot of memorabilia, a lot of apparel, a lot of different things you can take home with you. They also have hundreds of different brews. Next door is the production facility. They have thousands of gallons of vats next door. And uh, it's just a beautiful place. If you're in Rochester, if you're in New York at all, or if you feel like making a trip, this is the brewery to come see. Okay, 
so I just left the Genesee Brewing Company. Um, had an amazing lunch and got a little gift bag. So one of the Genesee Brewing shirts happened to have a fish on it. So how could I resist getting a shirt from the Genesee Brewing Company? Uh, what a great place though, man. Amazing food, amazing people. And now we get to head back. Uh, I got about an hour drive back to the house.